Sherlock creators to bring another classic character back from the dead. I'm Danielle Radford, and this is Screen Junkies News. This episode is brought to you by Transformers The Last Night. Check it out in theaters on Wednesday, June 21st. Tickets now on sale. Variety is reporting that Sherlock creators Stephen Moffat and Mark Gaddis are moving on from the famed detective to another classic literary character with a decidedly more sinister bent, Dracula. Specifics are hard to come by in these early goings, but it appears that the show will have a similar format to Sherlock, with each season being composed of a shorter miniseries-style run of episodes. There's no word yet on casting. Will this be another surprise success, or are audiences vampired out? Here to sink his teeth into this story with me is DJ Wooldridge. Hello, Hello, that is me. That's you, that's your name. And you're Danielle. I, I said your name, that, yes. isn't that great? All right, so you, you're you a fan of, you're a fan I, of Sherlock. I am a fan of Sherlock. You like I the think Sherlock? it's a good show. I'm a fan of Stephen Moffat. I yeah, like his I'm Doctor a, Who run as well. Oh, such a fan of the Who, yeah. big, big fan of the Who. So are you excited that this team are going to be tra tackling Dracula? 100%, I think they did a really good job of modernizing. It's not just like, they they, they modernized Sherlock in a very creative way. Mm -hmm. um, we don't know that they're gonna modernize Dracula, but I did, that's what I'm assuming, and whatever they do, I'm excited to see their take on it because I like I like the way in Doctor Who and Sherlock where it's like, hey, we're going to th throw a hundred different big ideas at this mm. one thing, and some of them may stick, some of them may not, but I just like I like that form of storytelling. Oh, well, that's great. Yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited for that for Dracula. Sweet. So do you do you think you know we we just had the NBC series and yes. we had Dracula Untold. Yes. Um, and those did Popular, okay, but they, they blew were up. Like, <laughs> Everybody loves them. But wait, so do you think this is going to be different now that you have this team and people love this team? The the internet's and the twitters and the tumblers they all really appreciate this Sherlock team. Yeah. So do you think that that brings something new and this might be the thing that that kind of reignites that love for Dracula. It's interesting, because I'd like to think that it was the creativity behind the show that generated the the passion behind Sherlock Holmes. But on the other hand, I mean, you had the the Guy Ritchie films, which right. did well, and then you have Elementary, which doing, is doing well. So maybe just audiences were more keyed into Sherlock Holmes than mm. they are into Dracula right now. But I, I'd always like to assume that if you get the right creators and the right stories, and you'll be able to get excitement behind it. I think so. You know? Yeah, I think so. Um, so how do you think the show might work? Because you mentioned kind of modernizing it. What do you think that would look like if you were to do like a modern Dracula story? I don't know, because it's also interesting because it's, it's hard to make a long form story. I, I like the way they formatted Sherlock to where it was basically three two hour episodes. It's like basically in three movies as right. opposed to your normal series. So it'll be interesting to see like, do they make him a protagonist? Mm -hmm. Or do they keep him the antagonist and you have your Van Helsings or whoever be be the people you actually follow it'll be interesting to see how this plays out yeah i uh I right because you can you can do it in kind of that hannibal style where like dracula is there and being super duper evil and then you yeah. have this whole team around and trying to figure it out oh, but again hannibal. you can also make it where dracula is like the dude and yeah and the guy kind of an anti-hero because because that's the way they kind of played sherlock is that he's mm -hmm. um he's a good guy but a jerk you know? <laughs> yeah. right he's a jerky good guy and so who do you think could be a good jerky good guy like who do you cast in this we talked a little bit about this in the office yeah. i think um <laughs> Obviously, like Benedict Cumberbatch or Martin Fre Martin Freeman would not be a good <laughs> would not be a good director. I, I love I him. Can, he's, a, squint, he's a fantastic I actor. I could, yeah, uh, no, but maybe both not. him and Benedict are a little bit busy. A little, just a skosh. Yeah, just a little tiny, just a little wee, bit, bit busy. wee bit busy. Uh, it, um, Jonathan Rhys Meyers was great in. In the, the NBC show, uh, right. like he mm -hmm. had the nice kind of predatory, handsome, mm -hmm. the classic Dracula, but it was batted around Mads Mikkelsen, which I want him in everything. Well, yeah, he would be great. Going back to that that great Hannibal, ah, oh, just yeah. look at he's. I would say he's just got like that resting, scary face. Yeah, like does. it doesn't matter what he does, that dude looks but terrifying he's, he's and charming. He drags yes. you in, like you watched Hannibal, right? Yeah. Like, oh, he would just, be an amazing. You Dracula. just wanted to hate him, but it's kind of like I don't know. Maybe I, don't know. I like you. I think I might like you, but stop eating people. But <laughs> But I think I like you. Uh, if you could just stop that darn eating people, yeah. then it would be fine. Uh, Gail Garcia Bernal was also thrown around, and I like that because he's kind of got an international vibe. You know yes. what I mean? I don't know. Do you have anybody? Well, I'm always going to say Idris. Come on now. Yeah. I, mean, I put Idris in everything. How on, Hashtag Idris for everything Luther's, 2017. Luther's still ongoing, right? 
I, I think Lufa, Lufa. Yeah. <laughs> I think Lufa uh, may be, I think they just did one more season, but I'm not, I'll have to okay. check up on yeah, that Yeah, he'd be, he'd be amazing. There's a lot of great options. It'll probably be somebody, because like Benedict Cumberbatch was not on the scene right. before Sherlock. So it'll probably be somebody that we didn't know that we always wanted. Right, and with an Idris, it would probably, because I would want to see him again, not exactly like Lufa, but yeah. like I would like to see him again be in that, oh my God, could you imagine Mads versus Idris? Yes, please. Like Idris trying to figure yes, stuff out while my oh, is being all evil oh that's amazing i'm so into this all right make it now make it now so this sounds dope now that we've done our fan our fan yeah. casting uh what other kind of classic literary characters do you think you'd want to see in something str- to, to get a, re- a reboot like this yeah i'm stretching the notion of what classic means <laughs> but I honestly have always thought it'd be really cool to do a series based on the pulp character, The Shadow. Ooh. I know there was a 90s movie that nobody liked. Yeah, ignore likes, it. Ignore that 90s like, movie. But imagine if, if you had a series that was basically uh, the setting mm. of like Boardwalk Empire with like the action of something like Arrow. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? I like, could totally I'd see that. I'd be that would super be into that. I think there's a lot of cool things you could do with that character. For me, that's a character that I think I, I just think would lend itself to TV, mm-hmm. and especially with the stuff people are into on TV right now. I, I want it to happen. Please, somebody make it happen. <laughs> Someone do the thing, or pay him to do the thing. Yeah. Um, for me, and this is again, it's not like I wouldn't say it's super classic, yeah. but I think that we are primed for someone to do a Nancy Drew now yeah. with the success of Veronica Mars, which is my show. I love me some Veronica, Veronica Mars. Veronica Mars is amazing. Veronica Mars is one of the best shows yeah. ever. Season one's basically perfect. The season one is basically perfect. Yeah. So then it's hard to do a season two, no matter what you do with how many buses you crash. So, so, um, and, and with uh, the, the popularity of a Riverdale, I think that you mm-hmm. could do something like that, like just another, like a really dark, I think that we're we're ready for those kinds of stories or, um, you know, Pretty Little Liars, yeah. something, something they in that vein. They to age up, do an aged up Nancy Drew story where she like yeah. worked with the FBI or whatever, which kind of lost some of the charm would you set it if you did nancy drew would you set it now or would it be a period movie or a period tv show oh i think you could easily do either okay i think it would be interesting to do it now but we do already kind of have a riverdale that's doing yeah. a lot of those like nod nod wink wink um but i think in the same way that riverdale is so much about like the veneer of the suburbs and removing that to what's dark and what lies you know underneath yeah. i think that you could do that with a period nancy drew yeah. and just kind of going back and being like oh you know the you know that kind of era that a lot of people romanticize but like here's the dirty dirty past yeah. and here's nancy drew figuring it out and then you could have the Hardy Boys pop up for an episode during sweeps. Yeah, and you could have a spin-off series if you wanted. Oh. There's the point is there's options. Make that show. There's Make options. the show. Make the shows that we like. Are there any other shows that you? That's my song. It's a hit song. Are there any other kind of shows? You, that you, you know, one other or? fun one that that could be cool is is revisiting Zorro. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Zorro would be Zorro would could be, be a, for that. It could be a fun one as well. But that's I think those are ones that would lend themselves to TV. Yeah, I think that Zorro would be one. As yeah. it's, it's so like and then there was a, was there one of those kind of outdoor adventures Zorro TV shows? I feel yeah, like there was. Yeah, there was a, Disney, there yeah, was a yeah. Disney show that used to air late at night on on the Disney Channel when I was growing up. That was black and white and was yeah. I, I, so I I think you could bring it back to TV. Oh, that would be great. Well, thank you so yes. much for joining me today, DJ. So I have heard what DJ wants and what I want, but now I want to know what you want. What classic literary character would you like to see brought to your television sets? Uh, thank you so much. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thank you for watching Screen Junkies News. Bye. Thanks for watching. Click over to the left for more Screen Junkies news and click here to the right to check out the latest trailer for Transformers The Last Night and catch it in theaters starting Wednesday, June 21st. Tickets now on sale.